Our mining sector is evolving rapidly with new strategic minerals entering the fold alongside diamonds. The Lethakane uranium project operated by Lotus Resources is undergoing a major infill drilling campaign to refine its resource and support a 6.2 billion Pula mine plan targeting 3 million pounds of uranium annually. Uranium. In Kanye, Giani Metals is developing the Cahill battery grade manganese project, having secured a mining license and a special economic zone investor license. The project aims to supply high-quality high manganese for electric vehicle batteries, aligning Botswana with global clean energy supply chains. Iron ore is also becoming an important resource in the diversification mix, with projects like the Ngamiland Iron Ore Project set to boost Botswana's steel industry. Leonard Friend, Mr. Kapink. These developments signal a broader shift toward industrial minerals, green steel, steel and value-added beneficiation. Together, uranium, manganese, and iron ore form an emerging triad of opportunity in Botswana's mining renaissance. Botswana is endowed with <clears throat> a diverse range of mineral resources suitable for small-scale mining, SSM, including gold, copper, industrial minerals, and graphite. Globally, small-scale mining plays a critical role in livelihoods, supporting over 45 million individuals directly. To address existing policy and operational gaps, the Botswana Geoscience Institute is developing a comprehensive and progressive pragmatic, pragmatic small-scale mining framework for Botswana. Its overall aim is to facilitate citizen economic empowerment through viable and environmentally sustainable SSM small-scale mining. Energy is still an area where more investment is required. The current national demands, demand stands at 700 megawatts. Peak demand. So the 700 megawatt is peak demand. And we have 450 megawatt nominal demand. About 65 to 70% of the national demand is met through local generation and the deficit of 35% through imports. And you know at what cost. In order to ensure vibrant security supply and attain capacity for export, government has embarked on increasing local generation through renewable and thermal power. In terms of renewable energy, government is currently developing a total of 900 megawatts of solar PV, photovoltaic power generation in Mau, in Lethakan, Isan, while 600 megawatts of thermal is being developed at Mamabula. These projects are expected to clear the energy deficit and serve the export market. It is expected that by December 2025, more than 100 megawatts of solar photovoltaic will be streamed into the grid, while the 600 megawatt thermal is targeted for December 2027. 
the ongoing remediation of Murupule B, a 600 megawatt plant, has also started bearing fruits with three units already running while the other unit is to be completed by December 2025. This will bring local generation of thermal to 720 megawatt inclusive of Murupule A, which gives 120 megawatts. Government is also working to improve the transmission capacity to, amongst others, enable export of power to the region. The Northwest Transmission Grid Phase 2 project is intended to improve transmission to the northwestern part of the country and also to provide for export of power to the north. Botswana Bay, our country is positioning itself to partake in the growing global market for renewable energy certificates. In July 2025, we formally tendered our, our application to the ITREC Foundation to become an authorized issuer of international renewable energy certificates, IREX. Wow, what a good news from Botswana. Botswana is joining other African nations who are main producer of uranium like Niger, Mali, uh, Burkina Faso, Namibia, Tanzania, Democratic Republic of Congo, Congo Brazzaville, and many others, Uganda. So my question to you, this discovery of uranium in Botswana will it be a blessing or will it be a trouble? Because historically we have seen that many African countries when discovered resources, it looks like it is not a blessing. We thought and we think it is a blessing but at the, at the end of the day, it is a trouble. Countries such as Congo, with all huge resources, is in trouble. Why? Because there are powerful nations that have appetite to take those resources. But as Africans, what we need to do is to collaborate, working together. If you look, Namibia and Botswana are neighboring countries, and both have uranium. Can these countries sit down, strategize, and starting working together in the area of uranium? The way we have seen Mali, Niger, and Burkina Faso came together. Can Namibia and Botswana collaborate in uranium? Because if we don't do so, America will come to Botswana and doing bidding for uranium. The same to Russia will go maybe to, to, to Namibia. Uh, Europe will go maybe to Botswana. But these countries, when they quarrel, maybe even chi China can come in. When these countries quarrel each other, they will fight by using our lands. So to avoid all those things, let us as Africans come together and strategize. Yes, we think about selling uranium. We are going to get a lot of money. We are going to uh, to get taxes, whatever, revenues. But let us first think about how we as Africans, we can benefit. Apart from money, we can benefit. Maybe for producing electricity, for uh, even for, se for security purposes. If as Africans, we can collaborate, create system that needs uranium to, to protect ourselves, it will be better because we have seen other countries they are using our resources to protect themselves. Why not Africans to use our resources? But this will be possible if we come together. Without coming together, brothers and sisters, we will discover a lot of resources and these resources will not be for the people of Africa. So those are just my suggestions, those are just my views. And also, if you have something, you may share with us what is your views, what is your perspective, what do you think about this discovery of uranium 
in Botswana. Because if we don't come together, if we don't find good strategies, these resources, as I said, will be taken. The way we see happening in Congo. What is happening in Congo can happen even in Botswana. We think that maybe those are just a collector of the Democratic Republic of Congo. No. Congo was at peace before. Congo was a good country. But when Congo discovered the resources, that's where the problems started. Even Botswana, even Namibia can, can enter into trouble if we are not well organized. Because they use the people like me and you. They use our people, they use our politicians, they use our soldiers, they use Africans to destroy, to distract their nations for the interest of their own people, for, for the interest of the, of the rest of the external power. But all in all, kings and queens, ladies and gentlemen, I have no more to share, uh, but to celebrate this good news uh, from Botswana. I hope President Boko will manage well uh, and people of Botswana, Botswana will benefit from these resources. But one thing we need to focus is industrialization. If we can industrialize our continent, I think the issue of employment, the issue of job opportunities will be history. But if we don't make sure that we benefit from these resources, we'll continue to cry like little babies. So after that, have a nice time. Thank you. I'm here enjoying, resting here, trying to breathe fresh air from these beautiful trees and from plants where I'm sitting here. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Africa. Mama Africa. Oh, yeah. You make Africa. Thank you, Africa. Thank you, Africa. Mama.